A very good morning students, we are in our practical classes that is structural geology, field geology and economic geology and this will be lecture number 2 and now we are going to solve map number 3 and 4. So this is map number 3 as you can see here there is a northern arrow in the left hand side and there is a scale in the bottom and this is a contoured pattern in this map right and the question is that a thin horizontal coal seam outdrops at an altitude of 325 meter contour trace the outdrop describe the topography of the area comment on the trend of the outdrop okay so what they are given is there is a horizontal formation which is having an altitude of 325 meter so in a previous class itself we had discussed that if the formation is horizontal right so that will be parallel to the contour and in the question they are mentioned it as a 325 meter right so we have to mark the 325 meter height and we have to trace it as an outdrop but here in this map, you can see there is 200, 250, 300, 350. There is no any 325. So what we have to do is, we have to fix the outdrop between 300, 350. So that will be 325. And what we have to do is, the outdrop should be parallel to the contour. So we have to trace our line just parallel to this uh, contours between these two values, that is 300, 350. So the answer will be just like this. So this will be the outdrop here that is having 325 meter height and uh, once again this uh, topography as you can see it is a v-shaped and uh, having lowest value at the center so this will be a valley right and the trend as you know which is uh, a horizontal formation so that should be parallel to the contour okay so this is what quite easy just like our previous two maps so let's go for the fourth map here which is having a northern arrow here right and the scale is there and there is a contoured map and the question is that a thin vertical coal seam outdrops at point P and its strike is north south direction trace the outdrop describe the topography of the area comment on the trend of the outdrop so the this is the quite different from the previous three cases right as you know it is mentioned as a vertical coal seam if the formation is vertical as you know the outdrop should be a straight line and they had mentioned it as uh, having a north south trend so the outcrop what we have to trace should be having the same trend that is like north south and they do had mentioned it as a point uh, outcrop is pointing uh, that is appearing in the point p right so our outcrop should be crossing this point so this is what required and if you have any doubt we can cross check our previous video which is dealing with the attitude of beds and the topography and the recent and outcrop right so that will i will share that link in the description so for time being what we have to do is we have to solve this map we have to draw a north south line and that should be crossing the point p so generally just drawing a north south line with the scale is literally uh, not right as there may be a some uh, something that can be a uh, wrong right so what we have to do is we use the using the set squares to draw a parallel line that is parallel to the north line here okay so for that we have we used to hold the set square just like this that is a right angle triangle that should be having a longer hand parallel to the north line and there is a equal to triangle right in the set square that you can keep at the base so just by keeping it here first you will be matching this line with the northern line and after fixing this set square we are we can use the second set square at the bottom so this will act as a support so you can move this set square front and back which should which is which will form as parallel line to the north so that is what it is asked we have to draw a north south line that should be parallel to the north south line in the map right so you we'll keep the map and set square just like this and we have to move the set square parallel along the base of the bottom set square and just uh, reaching the up to the point that you should reach that point p right then after that we have to just draw a straight line and that's it the map is over right so this is a bit complicated from the previous one as you have to place the two set squares parallel to one another and just like this we have to draw the straight line okay is that clear so this is how we have to do a strike line in the map so if you are drawing just like this then you are having an absolute north south strike line as this is the uh, direction which is mentioned in the map so we have to draw a line which should be parallel to this line okay is that clear so that's it we have traced the outcrop and once again it's a v-shaped contour having a lowest value at the center so this will be a valley and as it is a vertical formation the outcrop will be a straight line and that's it we have completed map number four is that clear i hope you understand both three and four map 
थैंक यू